it's a fruit with a, a fermented product. I think that's not common, in, especially in America, but from my understanding, it's basically just ground out shrimp. Oh, that's fragrant, yeah. bud. Yeah, it smells like straight ass. Yeah, I think you got enough. <laughs> Today we've each picked an unexpected food pairing. Some foods that don't necessarily go together. You don't like it? <laughs> no, I hate it. But we think they're delicious. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> When it comes to weird pairings, I personally don't know until someone tells me that's weird. It's a combination of things that something in your mind goes, oh no, that doesn't belong. Okay. Or does it? Or does it? But maybe it doesn't. Just like us, you know, he's short, I'm tall. What's weird to one person may not be weird to somebody else. You know, I, I hope you uh, hope you agree with me, Harold. We have to taste it? Yeah, that's, that's oh. the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's something I've done before, and I think it's just, in subtleties, it's quite nice. Uh, Drum roll, please. Strawberries and shoyu, which is like a- Shoyu? Yeah. I thought it was balsamic. Oh, shoyu. Yeah, I mean, so shoyu or, you know, or soy sauce. It's salty, it's, it's rich, it's got a nice depth of umami. It's a very fermented, aged, you know, koji-based life force uh, condiment. You know, everywhere I feel like most people know it for, you know, sushi or something yeah. like that, mm -hmm. but as far as flavor and sodium, it's a great way to apply that to any type of food. And these strawberries are just regular ones, or are they like Harry's berries and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Harry, you call me out like that. I didn't <laughs> buy these ones, you know, but, uh, you know, we're gonna go ahead and say these were hand-picked in a field in New Jersey, That's but, right. you know, it was great. <laughs> I mean, these are the best strawberries in the world, Harold. <laughs> so here, we'll make you a little dipper. You get one, I get one. I like a personal dipping reservoir. <laughs> and it reminds me of also in the Philippines, you know, we, we dip a lot of summer fruits and stuff and soy sauce and vinegar. So I think this is gonna work. Sure, sure. Yeah, so, yeah. Go first, I'd love to know your honest thoughts. I mean, that's good. It's, not, it's, it's good, right? Yeah. The sweetness of the berry and the tartness, the show you can give you that salt that you're looking for. That's what I'm saying. Mm hmm That's really nice. It's a little summertime snack. Maybe just a little pinch of sugar. Mm-hmm in this or something, mm -hmm. or even honey. That'd be nice. Or just a better strawberry, I'm sorry, Harry. <laughs> it's no Harry's berries, bud. You know what I'm saying? Bon Appetit budget, man, Harry's berries. <laughs> I'm actually having like massive amounts of like um, second guessing going Me on. Me too, that's why I asked, like, I was like, do you have this? This is too weird. <laughs> You're gonna be like, no, actually, you're a freak. Cut okay, the camera. My I'm fear is that honestly, it's not freaky enough for you. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like, yeah, that works, of course. Okay, you know? well, we'll see. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm like, okay. Just on it. All right, edge. here it is. Here it let's is. Go. <laughs> oh. That is scallion cream cheese with a cinnamon raisin bagel. Okay. Yes, I am a freak. Oh my gosh, you, you are a wild, wild human being. Okay, so like onion mm -hmm. can go mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. Onion is sweet, right? Mm -hmm. You can have like cinnamon and onion. You can have cinnamon and like, and, and dairy, right? Yeah, cinnamon and like a fa broth, heady, right? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That flavor can skew kind of sweet and savory. Totally. I don't know. Um, I it's do weird. know. I think it's gonna be really good. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's something about this. <laughs> There's something about the cinnamon, the raisin, and the scallion. You know, that is unexpected, you know? Like, yeah. scallion doesn't really go yeah. sweet. Even if you, so like, much. roast it, like, it still won't get really sweet. Not super sweet. Yeah. Not like a, a more mature not? onion. Yeah. Yeah, we're going, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Who would get upset about this? <laughs> no, there's something about, like, how the way the, the you know, sweetness I love of it. the cinnamon raisin kind of balances out a little bit of that, like that brash kind of scallion flavor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do not have a problem with this. Would you ever put like a piece of smoked fish on top of this or is that going too far? The fish might be where I, I, I get lost on okay. the journey. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know that like this is one that I want mm -hmm. extra toppings on. Yeah. As a combination on mm -hmm. its own for its own merits. I think it works. I'm loving it. Okay. Clearly. Wow, it's not the reaction I was expecting. Nailed it. I think Samantha is, is going to think that I'm a kid and it's going to be like very annoying and she's going to be mad that she had to eat it. Really? <laughs> I could eat like 12 bowls of these. What could it be that I wouldn't, that I'd be it's, mad? It's, let's see. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh. I love 
love Cheetos. <laughs> with honey? I've never had them with honey. Exactly. That's a good idea. This was my after school snack every <laughs> day. Cheese and honey is done. Yeah, it's done, food. yeah. Yeah, like on a cheese plate, you have cheese and you honeycomb. Have honey. You have like preserves and. Yeah. What kind of cheese is that? Is it cheese? <laughs> Let's do it. Please, chef. But you gotta do the whole drizzle thing, right? Ooh. Oh, shoot. Oh, we have to serve it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're really elevating this. All right. It looks pretty. Dig in. That's incredible. Ooh. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that's good. It's great. I didn't doubt you for one second, though. I doubted me. <laughs> <laughs> the Cheetos are super salty, and the honey is nice and sweet and sticky. Okay. If you serve this to me at your restaurant, I would be very happy. Yeah, if I serve this to you at my <laughs> restaurant, please call 911. I'll write a yeah. really bad Yelp review. <laughs> So well, Brad, are you ready to uh, taste my uh, weird pairing? Yeah, I can't wait to see what you're doing here. You wear the sh Oh, really? It's nasty. I don't like it. You don't like it? <laughs> no, I, I hate it. Are you serious? Yeah, but it's a weird ass pairing. Well, All right. You gonna open it? All right. Boom. Oh. I picked fermented shrimp and mango. It's a fruit with a fermented product. I think that's not common, in, especially in America. But from my understanding, it's basically just ground up shrimp. It says vinegar, garlic, onion, salt, and sugar, and, M and, <laughs> and MSG. It's salty, I'm assuming there's a yeah. decent amount of salt in there. A lot of salt, yeah. This is, if you're in the villages, this is what you eat. Like you said, it's something, a flavor profile, I mean, A, I grew up in New Jersey, there's mm -hmm. no mangoes, and no one's really fermenting shrimp paste, so like, having it be such a, a embedded part of, you know, of your culture, culture yeah. man, like, yeah. that's what, for me, that's what unexpected pairings are all about. Sure. All right, so go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and cut the, the mango real quick. These are perfect mangoes. You see how they're like kind of have the greenness still on them. That's what you want. And that texture is going to be a little more firm, a little yeah, more sour. Exactly. It's going to be a little bit more crispy. Oh, that's fragrant. Yeah. Bud. Yeah. It smells like straight ass. Yeah, I think you got enough. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, you got to do it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to do yeah, that I'm too. Yeah, I'm doing one. Yeah, I'm doing one. Pretty good. <laughs> need some beer. It's a lot at first. If you, when you first, when that paste first hits mm -hmm. the tongue, and that's all you're getting, especially it like gets into your sinuses. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of smell that 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 flavor. Mm -hmm. The faster I chewed it up, and all the flavors kind of mixed together, it became this like new flavor. And it mashes up, and you get it's sweet still, but it's sour. You see, it's cra you're craving it, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're not even drinking beer yet. You know? <laughs> So you're in a humid, you're in a humid, hot climate, sure. and you eat this. Just right. imagine, you know, and you're chilling and hanging out with your friends. You know, I was a little worried when he started banging out the shrimp paste, but I tell you what, I'm gonna find myself like not with Harold and like at my house and like kind of craving this. Summertime meal, man. It's a nice little snack, B. It's so funky too and weird. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That went so well. I mean, maybe we're just really meshing. I think what we're, we're riffing, we're, yeah, yeah this we're is like, like jazz. We're going back and forth. Yeah, okay, boom. all right, let's go. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Cottage cheese and gochugaru. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So for yeah. me, like, this was like breakfast. It's unexpected. We're putting it on this thing that we just talked about also having it be more of a sweet application. Mm -hmm. And yet, gochugaru is itself, like, there's a hint of sweetness, sweetness. in there. There we go. You know? Super taster palette. So, no, I mean, yeah. you know, it just no, it it is. is. Like, it's, it's very not like fruity. It's not like in your face, like, really hot. So there's like a mellow sweetness to this, too. Yeah. Okay, Chris, I would love to build you a toast. Do it. This is some beautiful seeded sesame bread from She Wolf Bakery here. We're gonna put some cottage cheese, some olive oil, salt, sprinkle it with some gochugaru and toasted sesame seeds. I mean, come on, this is like a $12 toast in some place in LA. Oh, at least. <laughs> right? I wouldn't think twice about that. Mm -hmm. So savory. Mm -hmm. You could have like five times more like cottage cheese, you could have more of like everything. Yeah. I'm just going for it and it's yeah. like, I'm gonna I'm go gonna everywhere now, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how like, you can see that much chili pepper, but against the backdrop of this much fat, yeah. kind of soaked in the bread, the level 
of my art reactions have been like applied to this bread. It's like so toasty, so, so deep. But you get the chili right in the back as you're like chewing and chewing. I'm very into this. I would not bat an eyelash at this. This is completely delicious. Everybody should love this. Everybody should try this. This wow. is not like weird at all, you know? In fact, <laughs> the weird thing to me is taking cottage cheese, if anything, and making it sweet, you know? Most of the time. <laughs> it's a crunchy toast. <laughs> Are you ready to see my pairing? <laughs> ready? Avocado and... Sweetened condensed milk. That is straight out of where I'm from in the islands. Well, I think in the US, mm -hmm. I feel like people make a lot of avocado toast <laughs> yeah. and guacamole, which are both really, really great. But I don't think um, people naturally go towards sweet avocado. It depends on who you ask. Avocado is super fatty and sort of savory. And then condensed milk is super duper 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 sweet. Super sweet. I've had avocados in like smoothies and I've had condensed milk, but I haven't had them together. Together. It's a big day. Yeah. So I'm just gonna cut my avocado with this teeny little knife. Ooh, that's a good one. When I was little, I would mash it. So I'm gonna mash it for you. I think some people do it in chunks. I don't know. Trust your body. My body's telling me to mash. And then I'm gonna put some of this in there. And then I just, because I wanted to make it look cuter than just a pile of mush. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, for you. All for me. <laughs> oh, wow. Is it good? It's really good. I don't know how to describe it. It's like... It's that good? Oh. <laughs> it tastes like, like you're eating lotion. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's like that. I'll take it. That creaminess. It's just the same texture all the way through. It's velvety. Mm. This is sophisticated. Now you're just blowing smoke. No, it's not <laughs> blowing smoke. Even though I like to smoke things. I'm gonna have a stomach ache, but I keep eating it because I like it. Stop good. eating it. <laughs> man, I like that green face on that man. You like that? Yeah, I like a green face watch. It's Rolex. Uh, we're at a gold boys. Oh, <laughs>